Social media is influence on the war on terror. Some historical background on Islam and the war on terror. Islam has been around since the 7th century. That's well over a thousand years. Islam was founded by the Prophet Muhammad over 600 years after Christianity. So it's only 600 years younger than Christianity is. Fast forwarding to September 11, 2001, the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and almost the White House was targeted by Muslim hijackers aboard four airplanes, starting the war on terror with the U.S. Research question. What is social media's influence on the war on terror? Sources, attitude towards Muslim women in the West, and the historian as a participant inspired my research, mainly the attitude towards Muslim women in the West, because while reading it, I realized people <coughs> do think that Islam is truly evil, and people don't really see what it truly is at all. And ever since 9-11, the Western side of the world has seen the Middle East as a battleground where all the terrorists and murderers live. My claim was social media has a negative influence on the war on terror. Some so social and cultural blends. The war on terror has been going on for 17 years. Social media slash news networks has been covering everything they can on it, but not in the best way. For example, a quote from the stimulus source C states, On the other hand, I was suspicious because it seemed that the desire to know about women in Islam was leading people away from very, very issues one needed to examine in order to understand what happened. One last example is the quote from Reverend Terry Jones and his small Dove World Outreach Center has announced in July 2010, wait, yeah, 2010, they plan to burn copies of the Quran to proclaim the people of Islam. By September, the pastor's unholy claim was at the top of the news around the world, sparking riots and prompting widespread criticism. This minister was at a church and saying to the news and the media that he was going to burn the Quran to stop the evil of Islam. This is how social media has a negative effect because the news chose to give this man his spotlight which caused terror among the people and made people think more and more that Islam was evil. <coughs> Some statistics. The U.S. military's casualties on the war on terror was every four U.S. soldiers were killed in the ambush. Four U.S. soldiers were killed in the ambush in Nigeria early October 2014. There's only been 6,731 total American military deaths on the war on terror. The casualties in 9-11, the war on terror and the invasion of Iraq, 0.28% were 9-11 victims, 0.5% were U.S. casualties in Afghanistan and Iraq, 4% were civil, civilian casualties, and 94% were civilian casualties in Iraq. So it truly believes that the U.S., has more cat or the civilians that aren't even terrorists or soldiers for the U.S. are getting killed more than the actual fighters themselves. Resolution, resolution, solutions, and conclusions. Before someone should go on to Facebook and post a tweet about how Islam should pay for the evil religion, or going to tweet about how they should be punished by God, go and study their religion. Maybe talk to someone who is a Muslim and learn about how they see terrorists instead of taking social media standpoint. Another way to stop this prejudice against Islam in the world is to get America out of the Middle East. The soldiers want to leave just as much as the Islamic people want the U.S. to leave. Okay, Cole, one question for you. What advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? Um, study it hard and well because it was a bit of a problem to find evidence and research on it, especially if you don't have the right wording, and it can be very difficult. And a lot of sources I found were trying to be way too biased, and so it was finding a source that wasn't biased or wasn't giving that much evidence and kind of leading away to what they stated in their, 
Thank you, Barbara. Okay. <coughs>